Hello everybody and welcome to 2022. Everybody, uh, I wish everybody a happy new year from each of us at Fast Oldies, GAFT Engineering and all of the colleagues and partners that we work with. Uh, we hope you had a safe and nice holiday. Um, we have a short in-between episode. <laughs> We have a short in-between episode uh, just to update you. We had some slight setbacks with the Phoenix build. Um, we will tell you more about that later. Uh, but first, I would like to take you uh, for a tour of where the Phoenix engine originated. Uh, this is a 964 Montrot that we do here at the shop. We've built it from the ground up again, uh, and we're going to show you some shots uh, of it. So we've not been sitting still here. Uh, we've been working on some nice projects. Uh, we have some shots here of some suspension. Marcel's been working hard on an old 911, uh, updating the, the suspension works. Um, the Phoenix build, however, has a little bit of a setback. Uh, the crankshaft wasn't very good, so we had to change uh, to another crankshaft. Um, the pump still hasn't arrived, unfortunately. But uh, we are working on it, and as soon as the parts uh, are available, we're going to YFT and we're going to assemble the engine. So uh, for now, stick with us, and we hope you enjoy the shots of the other work that we do here at Fast Oldies. Find the world to my trouble, man. I left my body right. So in the meantime, uh, work goes on here at the shop. We have an old S, uh, which has been slightly modified, and a, a 964 engine going into a G-model chassis. Uh, both of these engines are the finish that we like to achieve on every build. Uh, and just as with any engine build, there's always a little bit of a setback. That, uh, that's for client engines, that's for our own engines. Uh, but just to give you an overview and a, a teaser to how the Phoenix is going to look later, um, enjoy the shots. So for our Phoenix build, um, we're going to use a special oil pump. Uh, in episode two, I showed you the pump that came out of the engine. Um, this one is not going back. And this is a classical style gear pump. Uh, it has a few gears uh, that go into each other and it causes the oil to uh, rotate and, and go through the engine. Um, what we're going to, this is very uh, ineffective. Basically, uh, you can update it to a GT3 style pump, which is a little bit more effective, has a little bit more flow. 
Uh, but for our Phoenix build, we want to have the maximum amount of horsepower because we want to achieve 100 horsepower per liter. And that's why we're going to an Auto Verdi pump. And what makes this special is it's a root style uh, gear pump. So it has uh, different uh, styled gears that go into each other, that which causes uh, the oil to flow more freely and it takes less, uh, it's less parasitic on the engine. Um, so it's uh, effect, more effective and you gain horsepower because the pump is easier uh, to rotate and which causes you to gain a little bit of horsepower. Unfortunately, this is a stage four pump and the Phoenix build is going to have a stage three pump. Uh, so we have to wait a bit longer for it. Uh, but when it gets here, we have all the components to make a kick-ass engine. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the small update and the various shots that we have. We hope uh, we gave you some proper insights as to where the Phoenix build came from. Um, we noticed a lot of you are watching our episode but are not subscribed. So please, if you can, subscribe to us uh, and see you next time. Thank you.